Hey, good afternoon, guys. We are here at South Hanover in Lexington, where you have an open invitation to come on out. Six o'clock tonight, the doors open, six to nine o'clock. It's all for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. And I love this story because this sweet student here from Henry Clay High School, Sophie Clark, is doing this for her best friend, Gray. Tell us about it. So, Gray Chambers has cystic fibrosis. We've been best friends since 2005. She's originally diagnosed in 1999. And this disease affects the lungs and the digestive system mm -hmm. and it is a chronic illness so she'll have it her whole life unless we find a cure which tonight's to raise money for but we've really loved coming through and seeing all of these things to raise money but nothing really reflected the creative aspect of those with cystic fibrosis so you called in your creative friends from the yes. art department at department at Henry Clay High School mm -hmm. you guys we're going to show you some artwork here in a second but not only do you get to see the artwork but amazing silent auction mm -hmm. items that you said all the parents everybody's been kind of pitching in for this yes everyone who has parents that have just been outstanding really they've all got connections in different places and we've gotten amazing things we've got stuff signed by coach Cal we've got things from Norwalk we've got things from street scene everywhere it's gonna be awesome okay well let's move in here to this room you mentioned Norwalk yeah we'll, we'll put myself on that chair right there well I want one of everything including this house Sophie it's a beautiful place to see and beautiful artwork for you to check out too and what I love is the students and even the teachers at Henry Clay have taking part in this Yes, everyone wanted their share in this amazing event, and everyone wanted to donate their talents. So we've got teacher work, we've got student work, everything from pottery to painting, we've got it all. you got to tell folks the 65 Roses story. Um, 65 Roses got started when a little boy was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, and he couldn't pronounce cystic fibrosis, so he asked why he has 65 Roses. So that's really stuck with the um, whole foundation. And your work, I see, that has yes. your name on there. Yes. Uh, battle, tell us about that. Um, that was a piece that I started, and we wanted to go in with a design, but my teacher said, you know, I think it looks better how it is so we just left it but I really liked it because they were the colors that are Gray's favorite and so that's what I wanted to put in this well a lot of beautiful artwork it is all for sale it is all for you to come and see and all of that money goes back to the cystic fibrosis foundation it's ten dollars to get in unless you're a Fayette County student and it's free six to nine o'clock tonight and we have to say that Sophie's best friend Gray Chambers is in the hospital right now she's suffering some form from some complications and is not feeling well, so tonight's an extra special night for her and all of the students who are taking part in helping her out and those suffering from cystic fibrosis. Come on out to Breathe Lexington, 137 South Hanover here in Lexington. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about.